We are gradually addressing our energy needs through other sources as technology progresses. However, solar and wind power have a significant drawback. They are weather dependent. The energy output is lowered when there is no wind or sun. To address this issue, we can turn to a more reliable and predictable source, the tides. For millennia, we have been able to foresee tidal patterns, allowing us to employ tidal energy devices to provide constant and renewable power. Installing underwater windmills can provide tidal power. This video will look at a new type of green energy and its possible applications. Tidal wave energy, often known as tidal power or marine energy, is the power generated by ocean waves and tides. The water is continually moving due to the gravitational attraction of the moon and sun, resulting in daily changes in high and low tides. These tides generate a tremendous quantity of kinetic energy, which can be turned into electricity using various technologies. Depending on the location and type of wave or tide, there are various methods for capturing tidal wave energy. One technique is to construct dams across estuaries or bays with considerable tidal ranges. The gates on these dams open and close to allow water to flow in and out during high and low tides. The water is then passed through turbines, which produce energy. This is known as tidal barrage. Underwater wind turbines are another option. These turbines are immersed in water and powered by the tidal currents. They can be installed in shallow or deep water, in groups or alone. This approach is known as tidal turbine. Another option is to build artificial pools along the coast that are surrounded by walls or barriers. The gates in these pools allow water to enter and escape during high and low tides. The water then powers turbines, which generate energy. This technique is known as tidal lagoon. A fourth way is to use equipment that capture and transform the energy of ocean waves into electricity. These devices can take several forms. So, how exactly does tidal wave energy function? It's actually quite straightforward. The main idea is to use the movement of the water to spin a turbine, which is then connected to a generator, which generates energy. Depending on the technology, the turbine can be installed in a variety of locations and orientations. In a tidal barrage, for example, the turbine is housed within the dam and rotates as water rushes in and out of the reservoir. The turbine of a tidal turbine is installed on the seafloor or on a platform and rotates as the water currents pass by. The turbine in a tidal lagoon is mounted on a wall or a bridge and rotates as the water enters and exits the lagoon. The turbine in a wave energy converter is housed within or attached to a device that moves with the waves and rotates when the device oscillates or bobs up and down. The turbine's electricity can subsequently be sent to the grid via cables or wires or it can be stored in batteries or other devices for later use. This electricity may power houses, companies, factories, and even electric vehicles. Tidal wave energy offers enormous potential to meet our energy requirements. According to some estimates, tidal wave energy might meet up to 10% of global electricity consumption by 2050. That is enough to power over 1 billion homes. That is not all. Tidal wave energy has numerous more advantages. One of the primary advantages is that it is renewable and clean. Tidal wave energy, unlike fossil fuels, does not generate greenhouse gases or pollutants that contribute to climate change or harm our health. Tidal wave energy also consumes no land or water resources that could otherwise be used for other purposes. It is also dependable and predictable, as opposed to solar or wind energy, which are affected by the weather or time of day. Based on the lunar and solar cycles, we can always predict when and how much electricity will be created by tidal wave energy. However, tidal wave energy has significant hurdles and drawbacks. Before tidal wave energy can be employed more broadly, some technological, environmental, and economic challenges must be resolved. One of the most significant issues is the high expense of constructing and maintaining infrastructure and equipment. Tidal wave energy systems are still in their infancy and will require extensive study 
and innovation to increase their efficiency and durability. Tidal wave energy facilities must also be connected to the grid and have backup systems in the event of a failure or an emergency. Another issue is the potential influence on the maritime ecosystem and fauna. Tidal wave energy technology can disrupt or injure marine creatures and plants by altering the normal flow and temperature of the water, affecting sedimentation and erosion processes, and creating noise and electromagnetic fields. Tidal wave energy facilities must also be properly built and sited so that they do not interfere with navigation, fishing, tourism, or other human activities. A third difficulty is the scarcity of suitable areas. Tidal wave energy methods require special operating parameters, such as high tidal ranges, strong currents, and continuous waves, to function properly. These conditions do not exist everywhere on the planet and may differ based on the season or climate. Tidal wave energy plants must also be located close to the shore or consumers in order to minimize transmission losses and expenses. A fourth hurdle is public and stakeholder social acceptance and awareness. Many individuals are unsure about the safety, reliability, or aesthetics of tidal wave energy technology since they are new and unfamiliar. Tidal wave energy projects must also involve and consult with local people and authorities who may have opposing interests or viewpoints on their development and implementation. Despite these problems and disadvantages, tidal wave energy has enormous potential and has the potential to become a major source of renewable energy in the future. Around the world, there are already some successful or prospective tidal wave energy projects demonstrating the feasibility and benefits of this technology. With a capacity of 254 megawatts, the Suwa Lake Tidal Power Station in South Korea is the world's largest tidal power plant. It generates power from the movement of water between a lake and the sea using a tidal barrier. Another example is the Majin Tidal Energy Project in Scotland, which has a planned capacity of 398 megawatts and is the world's largest tidal stream project. It generates power from the Pentland Firth's water currents using tidal turbines. The Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon in Wales, for example, is the world's first proposed tidal lagoon project with a planned capacity of 320 megawatts. It generates power from the difference in water levels between the lagoon and the sea by using a tidal lagoon. These are just a few examples of how tidal wave energy can be used to provide clean, renewable energy to our world. Tidal wave energy is an exciting and new technology that can aid in the fight against climate change and the creation of a better future for ourselves and our planet. Thank you for watching, and remember to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic material. See you again soon.